welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm Jameson Elsa Brink, and we are one community. Today, I want to talk about how you can transfer from your PC to your Steam Deck or vice versa. And this is also comes with news from Steam, from Valve, that you can now transfer games through their client, through the Steam client, from PC to Deck and Deck to PC, which is an awesome new feature and will save a lot of time without you having to copy over or do some extra steps. Just setting up software to transfer from both, it just, this makes it a lot easier. Today, I'm going to go over a guide on how to do that. So, but before we do that, make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar. First up, there's a couple of things you have to do to get this all set up. It's more than just a one-click feature to get it set up, but once you get it set up, it kind of just works, so it's nice. You need to make sure you're in the beta channel on both your PC's Steam client and also your Steam Deck client. First up, you're gonna wanna click up in the top left corner on your PC, the Steam button, the Steam menu. Go to settings. Then you're gonna wanna go to account, go to beta participation. It should be down towards the bottom of that menu. Then you can click that, you'll get a pop-up and it will ask you if you wanna participate in the beta participation. Now, later down the road, let's say in a couple of months, uh, if you notice that this video is getting a little older, you might be able to skip this step, but for now, it's just best to go this route until we know for sure when it gets merged into the main channel where you don't have to do these this extra step. Then you select Steam Beta Update. Once that's selected, then it will either prompt you to restart the client or you will need to quit out of the client and go back in. So you need to reload the client to make sure it updates. It's gonna perform something like a normal Steam client update. It's just downloading the newest one, which is the beta version. Then we're going to go over to our Steam Deck and we're gonna to want to go over and hit the Steam button. Then you're gonna to want to go to settings, then the system tab, and then you're gonna to wanna to go and select system update channel beta. Then above that, if it doesn't show an update or if you've already updated recently and you've been on the beta channel, then you're good to go. But if not, hit that check for updates. If there's nothing available, then you should be good to go. If there is something available, download it and then restart your Steam Deck. I recommend restarting your Steam Deck no matter what, just help activate because this is one of those features. I had to restart my Steam Deck twice and my Steam client twice, and I don't know which one of it was, but I had to restart it a few times before it took and it would actually download over the Wi-Fi. So you might have to do a little bit of that to get it to work. But beyond that, the requirements for doing this is that both devices need to be on the local area network, your Wi-Fi per se, or just needs to be on the same local area network so they can discover each other. And it, they both need to be online. So your account on your PC and on your Steam Deck need to be online. You can't be in offline mode or anything like that. They have to be online. Okay, and then there's an extra option with all this. You, you can disable the transfers altogether. You can allow transfers to and from my own devices. You can allow transfers from my Steam friends. So if your friend comes on over and they want to download the game quickly so you can play a game together, this is my preferred option. Have my Steam friends able to download it too. Then my wife can also download it. Or you can just allow transfers to and from any user. So anyone that is on your local area network can do it. You need to do the same thing on the Steam Deck. Press the Steam button, scroll all the way down to the Downloads tab. And then in the Downloads tab, if you just, if you scroll down that a little bit, you'll see Game File Transfer Over Local Network. And it's pretty much the same options there. You need to have both of these set to the appropriate settings for things to work. And so just make sure that both the client, like the, the from and to devices, have their settings activated properly. And then another requirement is game content can only be transferred out of the transferring Steam client is idle. No downloads or games running. So let's say you're downloading it from your Steam client on your PC. You can't be downloading something else and or playing a game. Game needs to be released to the public and playable by both Steam users. No preloads or anything like that. And then the game needs to be up to date. Uh, it can't have any pending updates or anything like that. It needs to be up to date before it sends it to the Steam Deck or the receiving PC. And then the last thing you need to know requirement-wise is only a PC running in Steam desktop mode can send files. So Steam Decks, PCs in big picture mode and custom launchers can currently not transfer files over the local network. So it's a lot of requirements, and it takes a lot to get it kind of initially set up, but once you know what to do, it's fairly straightforward. Okay, and then lastly, let's test this out. How I did this was I used Dead Space 2, one of my favorite games, and I will go over to it. I select it out of my library, 
I select install, and then I accept whatever comes up from that. And once I've initiated that install, it will search for other devices to connect to and download from. So once I started that, and you know, and the way to know if it's working is once you've started that on your sending PC, for my example, my main PC, my NZXT computer, in the bottom right, a little alert saying, hey, start initiating or starting transfer, and it will say the game name. In my case, it was Dead Space 2. And then you'll see in the client on the PC, a, a little spot off to the right of the play button that will say transferring. And then on the Steam Deck, if you want to make sure it's transferring properly, you can go to the Downloads tab. It will show a big blue box if it's transferring from a PC or not. If that blue box isn't there, then it's not. And you need to try everything kind of over again. But once it starts working for you, then it just works. I haven't had issues once it's worked as long as the game exists on my main PC. It's updated and everything. And then I started on my Steam Deck. So that's how you do it. There's no more to know than that, except for just restart your systems a few times if it's just not working. And then with that, let me know in the comments below, did this work for you? Is this a useful feature? I, I really like this feature as I get tired of eating up all my bandwidth, installing a game that I've installed multiple times. I just restart my computer, refresh my deck, whatever it is. This is just so much better, especially since I test so many games. And so I love it. I want to know if it's something you love and it's something that you got working in the comments. Also check out the description below as I have a lot of goodies down there, including some sponsors that help pay my bills and allow me to release more of these videos. With that, thank you for watching. Check out my other videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Later!